throttle on a two cell battery. So it's not even that draggy. It's pretty efficient. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be flying this plane right here. It's kind of a weird looking plane, but first, before I fly it, I wanna tell you a little bit about it. Uh, first of all, um, this is the second version of this plane, actually. I, the last time I flew it, I crashed it pretty hard. I had to rebuild this nose section. What happened was, this plane is built to fly slow, and when you do a high G maneuver, one of these wings, they're really flexible, one will flex up higher than the other and it goes into this crazy spin and uh, you can't get out of it because I don't have a roll control on this plane. Just rudder and elevator. I don't know if you can see the whole plane. There it is. Alright, um, so my goal with this plane was I wanted it to be pretty slow. Um, I wanted it to be easy to fly, and I wanted it to fly really smoothly, just like a nice, relaxing flight. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the wings. So you can see, it's a biplane. Um, and if you know anything about aerodynamics, you know that in a biplane, um, the two wings don't produce twice as much lift as a single wing uh, with an equivalent planform area. Um, but I tried to minimize the effects, the interactions between the two wings by spacing them out really far. You can see this wing is pretty far behind this wing. You don't usually see that much stagger in a biplane. And this wing on top also has more dihedral than this one. I just wanted them to be nice and spread out. Still, I'd say I only get maybe a 30% uh, increase in lift from having two wings rather than one which is pretty substantial, but I don't know. Anyway, so uh, now I'll tell you about the electronics. This right here is the Grayson Hobby uh, Microjet version 3 motor. Um, normally people don't put motors this fast on a slow flying plane. The reason I did is because I wanted to use this little propeller so I could do belly landings and it'll clear the prop. Um, Got a two cell battery right there, cheap servos, um, cheap speed controller, um, got the receiver right there, I think that's about it. Okay, I'm going to go fly it now. We're recording. Well, I'm definitely happy with how this plane turned out. It flies really, really slowly and it's pretty smooth. Its flight characteristics are just excellent. I was able to fly it steady and level at about 10 miles per hour, I estimate. I can also fly pretty fast with a little bit of down elevator. I thought it was going to be pretty draggy, but it takes like 30% throttle on a two cell battery to maintain a slight climb rate, and it glides really well. Um, as you can see in the video, all I was doing was really nice slow flying and a lot of gliding and on this 2200 milliamp hour battery the plane was in the air for 35 minutes um, yeah that's pretty amazing I was really surprised it was able to fly for so long it's just a lot more efficient than I thought it would be um, it's obviously stable and pitch and yaw and I thought the amount of di dihedral that I put on it is just the right amount to give it the perfect amount of roll stability the controls are really responsive I could fly it in a pretty small area if I wanted to um, some things that I learned about this plane that you might want to know if you make one like this are um, those wings make the downwash angle on the horizontal stabilizer pretty high. I underestimated the downwash angle when I first built it. Um, on its first flight I had the center of gravity much farther forward than it needs to be and the plane still wanted to pitch up pretty hard. I couldn't trim it to fly level even. so. I actually had to increase the mounting angle on the horizontal stabilizer to make it possible to trim the airplane. Uh, also, I thought it would be hard to place the center of gravity correctly because the two wings wouldn't be producing the same amount of lift. It turns out the right place to put it is halfway between the quarter cords of the two wings. Um, I guess that means that both wings are pr producing the exact same amount of lift. <coughs> uh, 
overall, this is a super fun plane if you like doing some nice, easy flying. I've been building planes with flat foam wings for a while just because they're easy and fast to build. Obviously, a flat plate isn't as good as an airfoil because airfoils produce a lot more lift. They stall at higher angles of attack and have much higher lift to drag ratios. Now that I've come up with an easy way to cut foam and after seeing how well this plane flies, I don't think I'll ever build a plane with flat wings again. Thanks for watching. Very good.